It's Tuesday, so that means more original content from the World Pro Ski Tour. And we're super psyched about today's episode of Race Breaks because we're sitting down with one of the most liked athletes on tour, Michael Ankeny. <laughs> What's up, Michael? Hey, guys. How's it going? Thanks for having me. Pleasure to be on with you and uh, looking forward to our chat. Let's do it. So a lot of World Cup athletes were planning on racing at the revitalized World Championships at Taos Ski Valley in New Mexico. Are there any athletes on the World Cup that you were hoping to race against for that $100,000 prize purse? Great question. Um, you know, there's a lot of talented uh, guys who were planning on coming over, and they've been doing it more and more on the World Cup, but I think I gotta say I was most excited to race against Lena Strasser. Um, he, he and I have, you know, a good, a good relationship going back with buddies from the tour um, when I was back on the World Cup. Um, you know, he's super fast uh, and super fun. We definitely lost a little too much money at the poker table together. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I haven't been on a podium with him since, I think it was 2014, uh, Norm Slalom and Copper. So um, I was really excited to, uh, you know, show them how we do it over in the U.S. and at the World Pro Ski Tour. That's awesome. I was curious if you were going to pick someone that you'd never met before or you were going to go with the, an old friend, an old rivalry that was uh, that would be rekindled at the World Pro Ski Tour. So that's super fun. Linus, Michael just called you out. I guess we'll see you next year. <laughs> so with that, Michael, you're going to you're going to have to get in the right mindset. Um, do you have a favorite mantra? or something you say to yourself besides the slalom Tokyo drift, stay drifty? <laughs> yeah, you know, and that's actually, you don't necessarily want to stay drifty when skiing. I'd say you want to stay a little more arky. I think that's just a, more of a lifestyle. I'd say for life, uh, I like to follow um, um, yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, and today's a gift. It's a little, little, little corny, but, you know, I think it applies a lot and uh, helps me keep in the moment for skiing uh you know when i'm go when i'm going down through an inspection or in the start grade gate i either uh tell myself just to grip it and rip it or i tell myself to read it roll it and hold it i mean i feel like you you hit a bunch of different aspects of life um master shifu from kung fu panda um with yep. the <laughs> today is a gift um and then was that a golf reference at the end that was from uh the greatest game ever played with uh, Shia LaBeouf. Uh, he's got this little caddy, this short little pudgy caddy, who's uh, you know kind of like a life guru. And uh, I've definitely had people like that in my life, and I like that saying. You know, you got to read it, you got to analyze what's going on, you got to roll it. Yeah. You know, roll the dice. You just got to put it all out there, and you got to hold it. You got to execute. It makes a lot of sense to me. It does make a lot of sense. Well, hopefully, you can pull on one of those mantras as you race Linus next year. <laughs> Sorry, what's up? I was just gonna say maybe I should use it on the putting green more often as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we could all use a little help on the putting green. For those of you who haven't seen the video yet, we posted a video of Michael roller rollerblading down the street on Saturday, asking all of you to pose a couple questions for him, and Michael was gonna pick his favorite, and whoever he picks gets some World Pro Ski Tour swag. So Michael, take it away. Yeah, so there were a ton of really great questions. Um, a lot of them were around what beer I like to drink, which <laughs> yeah. is obviously Ham's. It's from the land of sky blue waters. How can you not love it? But uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed the question from uh, Tom Grissom, and he asked me, what are the toughest conditions I've ever encountered in a World Pro Ski Tour race? And I think that any of the veterans, uh, you know, like Bill Brown, Alex Lever, Nolan Casper, Rob Cohn, Tucker Marshall, and uh, David Chudunsky. I think they would all say, hands down, 2017 Sunday River Main, which was, you know, actually the first the first race back from the revitalization. But, you know, we were working with negative 35 degrees standing temps with gusts of, it was like 50 to 80 miles per hour. It was just, it, it was fun. Because we're racing with our friends <laughs> right. and having fun. But it was miserable because we were losing the skin on our feet. And AJ Guinness actually lost like a lot of skin. It was, But it made the Tito's taste so much better after the race was done. It's, I mean, we can all agree that no one should be outside during those conditions. But as racers, we know we have to battle the elements sometime. And 
you all stood in there and battled. It's a great day, despite the weather. <laughs> well, Tom, thanks for that question. Michael, thanks for coming on. We really appreciate you and in all aspects of your um, contribution with the World Pro Ski Tour. We love watching you race. Congratulations again for your victory at Eldora. Until next time. Stay drifty. Stay drifty. <laughs>